Rivera said that Dan Snyder was looking for a coach-centric approach. And clearly, Rivera is running the show here, bringing in his guys this week. Uh, Scott Turner from Carolina added as the offensive coordinator, although a lot of people thought it was going to be a holdover in Kevin O'Connell. No, it's the Carolina guy. A lot of people thought Eric Schaefer was going to be a holdover. Instead, they bring in Rob Rogers. So I would guess with all this power that he's accumulated that mm. he'll probably just pick the GM. He's going to be the lead voice in picking the next GM for this team. You Sounds think, like it, yeah. Going forward. If there is one. And so under this system, Rogers and Doug Williams are going to report to Rivera. Rivera also said he wants to meet with the team's top football executives, um, including Kyle Smith, who's the current college scouting director, and the pro scouting director, who is Alex Santos. So yep. you know, those guys are probably worrying about their job. Now, the talk was that some of these people are going to last until the draft, but... Rivera is clean in house to an extent. I sat next to Alex Santos at a wedding, um, I don't know, six, seven years ago. Danny, mm-hmm. Danny Smith's daughter got married, mm-hmm. and Alex was, he wasn't in that role then, but he was certainly in the scouting department. Really you were good. at Danny Smith's daughter's, daughter's wedding. wedding. Did you compare envelopes? How much you gave? Um, How big you as much as Danny did. Uh, you didn't I, give as much yeah, as Danny yeah, did. Danny. Uh, I, can't, I think I gave 200 bucks. Nice. Anyway, so it's Alex Santos is a good dude. Yep. You know, I don't know how good he is at his job, but he's been there, for, you know, obviously, for a long time. Well, I think Ho- people like him. Hopefully he sticks. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up, so Les Carpenter has an article about clues from Ron Rivera's past and how those clues might mean this is how he's going to approach Dwayne Haskins this year. So this is all kind of theoretical. Yeah. But before the Redskins played Carolina this year, during a teleconference, conference call, yeah, Rivera was talking about his approach with Cam Newton. yeah, And he said, you're going to have your ups and downs, and it's hard to protect those guys, but if you're going to put them out there and expose them, you've got to be able to support them. He's talking about he had named Cam Newton the starter in week one. I think it's a different situation when you draft the, the – That was the his guy. guy. Didn't he draft him? Was it Rivera in and, charge? And supposedly, you know, yeah. he said, we're going to take Cam Newton with the number one pick. I mean, Cam Newton was an unbelievable well, college that was a player. No, that was a no-brainer. Yeah, it was a no-brainer. I don't see how you don't do it. Um, <clears> but he <throat> also talked about his days with uh, Andy Reid. And he was talking about how Andy Reid started Donovan McNabb as a rookie. Mm-hmm. And he said, Andy is an offensive guy. Me on the defensive side. I think you got to put them out there and let them take their lumps. But you got to be supportive. You got to go behind them. You got to be able to protect them. But the thing I would worry about you know, if so I that's was. That's what he says. He says you got to be able to protect them. Yeah. All right. So you got to get a left tackle if that's Trent <laughs> or someone else. Right. And you've got to put playmakers around them. The thing I would worry about if I was Dwayne is you're an inherited guy. You're not necessarily Rivera. You're, right. I mean, you're not Rivera's guy. Rivera didn't pick you. Mm-hmm. And it's just like GMs like to pick their own coaches. Coaches like to pick their own quarterbacks. Correct. Now, he might like you and fall in love with you in camp. And you better play well. But you better play well. Yeah, he, play he's well. already said that he's not anointing him. And yeah. then he, he ticked off 100 other quarterback names, <laughs> including Case Keenum, uh, and by, and by Alex way, Smith, and all those guys. Uh-huh. That doesn't just go for the quarterback. It goes for everybody oh, sure. on the roster, and that's why players don't like changeover. My son asked me this, and I, I, it, was, it was a hypothetical, but what if Cincinnati took Chase Young? And Imp- you can impossible. Joe Burrow. impossible. I, I basically said that too, and he agreed. Mm-hmm. But it was just hypothetically, yeah. What if Joe Burrow was there? I said, well, they would probably just trade back because the team would want Joe Burrow. Well, maybe not. They might take Burrow. I think they might take him. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> hell, I think there's a chance it might take Tua. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I th- I'll think. It, I think there's a one percent. I think say, there's a crack. Uh, I don't know if this is a tell. Just an interesting quote in this article was about the selfie. Kind of fun to see Haskins take a selfie, and he got a lot of grief for it. He's young, he's enthusiastic, he brings energy. He wouldn't have thought that if he was coaching. The only thing you look for in your young quarterback is that he's enthusiastic, that he's the guy who's going to bring some energy to the table. Yeah, I, whatever. I just guess, play well. I would guess you look for more than just yeah. energy. Just play you well. Look for how he reads defenses, how, how he you know spins the ball. I thought he. I, we know he could spin it. Uh, he played better as the season progressed. You know, it's definitely within his capability to take this job and run with it. Let's just see if he can do it. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's certainly within his ability to to be a starting quarterback in this league for years. All of the mini camps start after the draft, right? Well, right after the draft, they immediately remember they have the week the rookies right. in like that weekend, right? But I just was wondering if Rivera has like any ability to have like hands on time with Haskins before the draft. <laughs> they probably see him throw a little bit over there. He's got film. He's looking at the film. Yeah, the film don't lie. Right? He'll see what he needs to see. 
Well, they, he, put it, he better put the work in the offseason. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I think he learned. By all accounts, he learned as the season progressed what it takes to be a starting quarterback in this league. Took him a while. He's a rookie. To be expected. And for a game and a half, he looked damn good. Yeah, he looked pretty good. I remember tweeting at one point, wow, we really might have found our guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I had that sense. So, we'll see. I didn't watch the last game, though. Well, he didn't play. He didn't play. Yeah. yeah. Last game I watched That game Robert. was a dud. You, you watched, I watched Robert. It's the first time I've ever done that. I right. 